All right, hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Raft, and today I have a very, very different episode for you guys. So, let me tell you a story, a story about a mic that decided not to record. So, yeah, uh, basically this is gonna be post-commentary. Sadly, I started recording this episode, but my freaking audio interface decided to just disconnect. Uh, five minutes in and this was an hour long session. So I was pretty much wasting my time <laughs> For like 55 minutes. Uh, so it's pretty sad, but I decided to still use the footage I still think that the build was really good So basically what I wanted to do here is I wanted to go with something a little bit different um, For the past few episodes, I think I've been focusing on trying to go big, right? I've been trying to uh, do crazy things that you guys haven't seen before so I decided to go with the submarine and a freaking uh, cargo ship which I think is the only video on YouTube with a cargo ship and obviously my biggest build yet which was the rocket launch pad with the rocket itself uh, so it doesn't get bigger than that and I think it's a very unique episode I guess is what I'm trying to get at but anyway in, on this episode what I wanted to do is I wanted to do something different I wanted to do something a little bit more simple and um, so I decided to go with a yacht race so the whole point of this episode is that I'm trying to add more details to the builds um, and I, I'm trying to uh, make it a little bit more uh, realistic, I guess, because a freaking launch pad is just gigantic. It's just a gigantic build. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to figure out the build. Um, I think that's, that was my first prototype right there. Um, I'm editing this after the fact, of course, this is post commentary. What I was trying to do here is I was trying to look at this from afar and see if it actually looks good. I think the build itself is nice. Uh, what I wanted to do here is add another three or four uh, different yachts here and try to like create a scene where you would have um, like multiple yachts in a competition, perhaps a race. And this freaking yachts, I mean, I've seen some of the videos out there on the internet of these like multi-million dollar yacht races. So anyway, right here, I was uh, trying to build the second yacht here and here's the part where I tell you guys how complicated it is to build. It was a little bit complicated. The prototype that I had uh, had a little bit of a, of a different build. It wasn't, the hull wasn't the same uh, as my previous like ships right because I usually have like the slopes and then I have the two different corners the regular corner and the inverted corner but here I decided to go with something different um, so I was a little bit confused I had to like um, go back to the ship and do some um, measurements there I think right here what I'm trying to do is like figure figure out how many how many blocks I I have in terms of distance between the back of the ship and the entrance to the main cabin uh, so I'm trying to figure out the dimensions here I had to rework this build a couple of times it, it didn't didn't work out as intended like right from the get-go but I feel like um, I feel like it ended up looking kind of cool so I think we're gonna skip ahead and see how it looks like all right so I think right here is when I realized <laughs> Right about here is when I realized that um, my whole build was um, like one block too wide and I had to actually bring it in one level right there. So that's what I'm trying to do here. So basically I recorded that whole section and then I had to rework the freaking dimensions again. Uh, it's always getting nighttime by the time I start recording mainly because um, I try to like do something. I work a little bit on, on the boat. Um, I get some of the dimensions wrong and then I have to stop recording and then start recording again and by that time it's basically getting nighttime. So I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed that in my previous episodes but whatever. I think uh, by the end uh, this uh, boat ended up looking exactly like my prototype which is kind of nice. Um, it's not a big boat of course uh, like we've built massive boats at this point and uh, this is something a little bit more simple I wanted to go with something more detailed instead of like big build um, uh, with a lot more uh, I wanted to rejoice in the minutia if you will I don't know I'm using big words I'm not good at that anyway I think we're gonna skip ahead again and see how it looks like 
All right, so I think this is the end of the build right here. This is the basic shape of the of the actual ship. We have the hole right there, and I think right now I'm deciding what color I'm gonna paint this. I wanted to keep it different from uh, the or original prototype, so I think I went with yellow. Yeah, I think it's a combination of yellow and blue, so it's it kind of like stands out. That's a really cool like contrast there. And um, so yeah, it's a, it's a bit different from uh, the main um, prototype. So yeah, I think it, it's similar to the main prototype in the shape. The color is gonna be different and I do add some uh, more details to the inside of the ship. Later on, I do add some, um, I do add some um, items there, like a clock, some, um, some beds, and stuff like that. Maybe a table I think I, I'll add there. And I think I do have different themes for different uh, ships. Uh, later on, I'm gonna build um, uh, a Twitch ship, like a, uh, with a Twitch color scheme, I think. So it's gonna be white and um, purple. So that's pretty cool. And I think I had another one that was bulkier and seemed kind of like a military ship a little bit. And I called it Black Widow or something like that. Anyway, uh, so that's gonna be it right there. Oh, by the way, I'm also adding a second level here because I kind of like the... Um, uh, the different uh, levels. I, I kind of like having different levels for uh, the sales. So I think what I'm doing here is I'm trying to add a second, um, a, a third sail actually to this boat. And I think you actually need two blocks in order to make that work. So I think I need to add another floor, another raised floor right there. Sorry, I had to like burp right there. Anyway, bam, right there. And so yeah, it was kind of fun. It was kind of fun doing this. Uh, let me just show you how it looks from afar. I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. Oh no, I'm gonna finish painting this. Oh no, all right, it doesn't matter. Let's skip ahead. All right, so I think right here what I'm doing is I'm painting the Twitch ship. So this is gonna be um, white and purple. And as you guys can see, probably in the background right there to the right of the screen, I already have another ship built. So up to this point, I think I have, uh, I should have four ships ready for this race uh, and I think this is the coolest one I think this is the one that I liked the most um, it has a bunch of different sh um, sales here so I think it has one two three four five six sales possibly and this uh, particular boat is gonna be like inspired by twitch so the design is not too different from the other two boats um, it's just the color scheme really uh, but I do add some little details to the inside of the boat later on like some beds and stuff like that I think at this point what I'm gonna do is just go to bed <laughs> Because it's getting nighttime again as always uh, So let's just oh, I think I got stuck there. That's kind of weird I think I'm gonna finish painting this and uh, we'll move on to the final boat which I think was the Black Widow uh, military boat. So let's do that. All right, so I wanted to show you guys how the scene looks like from afar as well. Like up to this point, it looks kind of nice. I feel like it does look kind of realistic, even though all the ships move at the same speed because uh, they are considered by the game as one single raft. Uh, so there is really no difference in speed between the boats. Um, you can have as many sails as you want on any of the ships. They're not gonna move any, any faster than the other ships. I actually think that the more sails you add to each ship, the faster all the ships are gonna move because um, if you actually fall into the water, I think I fell a couple of times into the water there, um, it actually moves really fast. So I would, if I if I fall into the water there, it's gonna be very difficult for me to like get back to the, to the raft. Anyway, I think right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the Black Widow right at the end here and then i'll show you guys how it actually ends up looking i think it ended up looking quite nice in my opinion if i do say so myself um even though the 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 black widow ship it does look a lot more like a military ship uh, i still feel like it kept the yacht thematic uh, but yeah, I'll show you guys in just a second. All right, so for the Black Widow, I decided to go with the black and red color scheme. It also, it's also a little bit taller than uh, the other ships. As you guys can see, there's a second level to the cabin here. Uh, I would say half a level, actually. Uh, so the ship does look a little bit more um, modern, I would say, but it also kind of looks like military. It's a little bit more bulkier. Uh, as you guys can see right there, the ship is actually moving really fast. It actually takes me 
uh, it's it's a struggle to um, swim along the ship itself uh, so I'm painting the hull here I think I'm painting it uh, black I think it is I think it's black yeah so the hull is black uh, the top of the ship is red and then the cabin is uh, red as well I, I feel like it's something like that uh, I think I'm gonna show you guys how it looks from afar in just a second here uh, but I wanted to say I'm really sorry guys that um, this episode ended up being post commentary even though I think it's not too bad uh, I'm doing my best here to like keep it interesting um, I did want to do live commentary for this one but sadly my microphone just decided to not record this time and it's getting nighttime again great <laughs> even when I decide to record like willingly after the fact I start recording right when it uh, becomes nighttime again whatever i think i decided uh, on good color schemes here look at that i'm gonna go to bed again yes that's that's past me making the same mistake that future me is making but whatever uh, i think at this point what i'm gonna do is uh delete not delete but uh destroy the the scaffolding and uh then uh just get ready for the final scene look at that i think it looks great it looks great from this angle it ended up looking quite quite nice i think that's gonna be my thumbnail right there possibly and that's the black widow right there um in the end back there all right so right here we are on the inside of the black widow we are inside the black widow <laughs> we're in the main cabin of course and i'm just placing some decorations here i wanted to go with um an evil layered type of uh design <laughs> it's so stupid i guess uh but look at this i'm just adding a massive table here a bunch of chairs and i think i already added uh the shark heads look at that look at look at that holy crap it looks evil as heck anyway um i think that's uh, the end of the build right there so all i have to do now is get rid of all this scaffolding and it'll end up looking quite nice in my opinion look at that just saving just to make sure that i don't lose i don't lose any progress because sometimes this game just decides to crash on you for no reason it just happens um so anyway i think that's gonna be it let me show you guys how it looks from afar real quick here all right so this right here is the final product look at this it looks kind of like a real race anyway each one of these would go for i don't know a million dollars or something like that they're just made out of wood i guess real yachts are made out of uh, plastic right but anyway i think that's gonna be it for today guys sorry for the post commentary and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye